This design problem will be uh, considering the size of the beam rather than you know, the steel in the beam. So this one will be to design the size. By that I mean the width and the effective depth that you need. And really when we talk about size for design, we'd be talking about the overall depth as well too. Um, design the size of a, a beam to hold, let's say MU is equal to 300 foot caps. Of course we gotta, if we're doing this type of design, we're gonna have to lock something else down. So I'll set my row value as being 0 0.009. My F prime C, my FY being 4 KSI and 60 KSI. Okay. So how are we going to do this? A little bit more wide open. You're really looking at two variables now instead of one variable. Uh, but the process pretty much the same. Okay? We start out by saying, hey, my design capacity has to be at least equal to MU. We can write my design capacity like this, V. BD squared times K bar is equal to MU that we have to support 300 foot kips. Mm -hmm. What I'm looking at here is this. So what I'll do is I'll solve for this term BD squared. I know what B is. Do I know what K bar is? Yes. Yes, you do. Uh, you have to look it up, but you do know what K bar is because you're given this and you're given that information. So you're going to go into the table with uh, the table that's listed as 4 KSI concrete, 60 KSI steel, or 4,000 and 60,000. And you're going to find a row value 0 0.009 and from that you're going to tell me that the K bar value is what? B times D squared gives me 8047 or what will happen is you'll end up being greater than that. This is a trial and error thing, you know, two, two variables, there's, you know, we can set one variable and solve for the other one if you like, but what most people do is they simply do something like this. I'm going to choose a B value, I'm going to choose a corresponding D value, then I'm going to multiply them uh, together by the term B, you know. I'm going to multiply out BD squared and see what I get. Here's the deal. Most efficient rectangular beams have a depth D that's probably going to be about one and a half to maybe two times 
what the width is. For instance, if I say 12 inches width, most depths probably be beams, efficient beams would have a depth maybe 18 to 24 inches. Okay? So the width is usually smaller than the depth. You know, depth is usually about one and a half times. So, hey, let's try that. Let's try 12 and 18. So take 18 squared times 12. What do you got? Okay, well that won't work. I'm way under 8,047, so we can forget about that. You know? What about uh, if I tried a 16 inch wide beam? 16 inch wide beam would put me, if I said one and a half, and put a D up about 24. 24 square times 16. 92, 16. Hey, now that would work. Okay. We might be able to whittle it down. Maybe maybe 14 by 24. What's that? 8,064. Ooh. 8064. Yeah, well, and you can keep on doing these trials, but for us right now, hey, you know, what the heck? I mean that's that's pretty good. You know, so what this is telling us is I can use a 14 inch wide beam. Now again, this is conjecture at this point. I mean, are the real project parameters such that a 14 inch wide beam would be supported? Okay, when I say an effective depth of 24 inches, that's to the centroid of the steel. So my beam, you know, probably is going to be 26, 27 inches deep. Will the project support a 27 inch deep beam? Mm -hmm. You know, so there, there's those sorts of things that you got to, you know, in the real world, you got to think about. But nonetheless, let's go with this. My area of steel then would be rho times B times D. choose some uh, bars, size of bars and number of bars that this will work. I think we said before, we have four number eights, that would give me 3.16 square inches and that, that would work. I mean that would be one possibility. Would you go as well as three number nines? Uh, pro I, I want it in this case, just I mean we're you know, that, that might work if we change a few other things, but I'd say, let's see. I mean, most of the time, it, it's good, always good to go above. I mean, that, uh, he, he it's bigger. So much. Right, so well, much. well, not, I guess not a whole lot. Yeah. This one would be, but that, those are relatively close. So, I'd say go above, because if you went below, you could probably go below, but what would you have to do? You have to do an evaluation of it. You have to prove that it holds 300 foot catch. If you did that, well, yeah, hey, great. But don't just say, ah, I'm close enough, I think I'll call it good. I mean, if you want to you choose three square inches and then prove that that works, that it holds 300 foot kips, go ahead. But if you want to just, yeah, if you just want to say, hey, now I'm happy, let's, let's keep them here. So what this says, hey, one design that would work would be 14 inch wide beam with an effective depth, 24 inches. Again, realize that that probably means that you got a 27 inch deep beam or so overall depth. Use four number eights with our other uh, parameters there of uh, 
concrete strength and, and steel strength. So, questions?